Hello everyone, I am Bhaskar, Assistant Professor of Department of ECE of HiSET. Today in this video, we are going to discuss Divergence and Gauss Divergence Theorem in the subject Electromagnetic Fields and Waves. So the contents are the definition of divergence, Gauss Divergence Theorem and the proof of Gauss Divergence Theorem. Actually the divergence of a vector field is the amount of flux diverging out per unit volume. The divergence of a vector can be a positive divergence, negative divergence or zero divergence. If the amount of flux coming out of the vector field greater than the flux getting into that vector field then it is positive divergence. Here we have positive divergence. Negative divergence is if the amount of flux entering into that vector field is greater then it is negative divergence. If the flux entering and coming out of the vector field are equal then we have zero divergence. Usually the divergence of any vector field is a scalar measure. Mathematically the divergence can be obtained by multiplying the del operator with the vector. Consider we have vector field A. So, the divergence of that vector field A can be obtained by multiplying this del operator with this vector field. So, we know that del is the uh, vector differential operator which is dou by dou x into A x plus dou by dou y into A y plus dou by dou z into A z. Here uh, this is the del operator in Cartesian coordinate system where A x a y and A z are unit vectors along x, y and z directions. Okay. So if we find out the divergence of uh, a vector field that is del dot A can be given by dou by dou x into A x plus dou by dou y into A y plus dou by dou z into A z dot product with the vector a in all the directions that is x component of a along x direction y component of a along y direction plus z component of a along z direction. So if we do the dot product we will get dou ax by dou x plus dou ay by dou y plus dou az by dou z. So this is the divergence of vector A and this measure is a scalar. So divergence of a vector is a scalar. So the next part is Gauss divergence theorem. So Gauss divergence theorem states that the volume integral of divergence of a vector field. Volume integral that is triple integral that is volume integral of divergence of a vector field. So divergence of a vector field can be written as del dot A over a volume. So volume integral of divergence of A over a volume dV is equal to the surface integral of that is surface integral of normal component of this vector normal component of this vector over the surface bounding that volume ds. See here this Gauss divergence theorem connects the volume integral with the surface integral. So this is the uh, basic definition of Gauss divergence theorem. So if you look at the proof we know del dot A is the divergence right divergence of A. Now divergence of A can be written as del dot A can be written as dou Ax by dou X plus dou a y by dou y plus dou a z by dou z. So this is the divergence of vector a. So in Gauss divergence theorem the left hand side is the volume integral of this divergence over a volume dv which is equals to the triple integral into dou a x by dou x plus dou a y by dou y plus dou a z by 
dou z which is the divergence of a multiplied with dx dy dz here dv is the elemental volume this can be represented as dx dy dz in cartesian coordinate system so that is why we have uh, dx dy dz in the right hand side now we are going to take only the first part alone the first part alone is dou ax by dou x into dx dy dz we are taking first term of right hand side right so this can be written as double integral of single integral dou ax by dou x into dx then dy dz now first order we here we have first order integration then first order differentiation these two will be cancelling out we will get ax as an answer for this term okay so this can be simplified as double integral ax into dy dz this can be further uh, represented as ax into dsx so here dsx is the co x component of surface area we can name it as equation number 1 so in equation 1 we can calculate dou a y by dou y and dou a z by dou z terms similarly in, in the same manner we can calculate these two terms so if we do that the triple integral of dou a y by dou y into dx dy dz is equals to surface integral of a y into d s y in the same manner triple integral of dou a z by dou z into dx dy dz is equals to surface integral of a z d s z that is z component of surface area so if we substitute the individual terms in equation number one we will get triple integral of do triple integral of divergence of vector field equals to double integral of ax dsx plus ay dsy plus az dsz so that is we have substituted all these terms in equation number one after substituting we are getting this equation number two on simplification this x y z components can be combined to represent the entire vector a into d s so here the volume integral is connected or the volume integral is equated to surface integral so this is the uh, proof of the gauss divergence theorem okay so in this video we discussed the basic definition of divergence then Gauss divergence theorem definition and its proof. Thank you.